coming today. Um, very briefly, um, investigations have continued into the uh, attack on the uh, elderly woman on Friday night uh, in the Mermaid Beach area. Um, as a result of our inquiries, we've identified a number of witnesses who saw a male person acting suspiciously um, on Friday night um, in the, uh, during the evening in the uh, Hedges Avenue area, in particular uh, in the vicinity of Dudley Street and Francis Street. Now this person was variously described as um, a male person about uh, ranging in height, uh, about 165 to 175 centimetres tall, uh, slim build, um, late 20s, early 30s, um, and with an olive complexion similar um, and I repeat that, similar to a person of Mediterranean or possibly South American extraction, and that's similar too. Um, we'd be interested to hear from any person who may have seen uh, a person, uh, any person acting suspiciously in that area, uh, that's the Hedges Avenue area, uh, in that vicinity around Dudley Street and Francis Street. Also, we'd like to hear from anyone who uh, may have seen anything uh, out of place um, or out of the ordinary in the vicinity of Hilda Street um, on Friday evening. Um, as well as that, we'd ask anyone who may have seen something in the days leading up to Friday, if they saw anything suspicious or out of place in that area, to contact uh, police or Crime Stoppers um, with that information. No clothing description at all, Brian, on this guy? Just a very general clothing description, uh, again, variously described as shorts and uh, a jacket that zipped up at the front. In your wanting information from the days leading up to it, are you suspecting that this was very planned and this person may have staked out the area? Or? Look, it, there is uh, an indication that there was an element of planning in this offence, um, and it is possible that the, the offender may have been in the area beforehand. I think he's a local. It's too early to say, but uh, we certainly haven't discounted uh, a local person, and we certainly haven't discounted uh, someone from outside of the area. The other gentleman um, termed this a very perverse um, crime. Are police worried about the safety of public, other people in the area? Look, I agree with the comments made by the other gentleman in that um, this kind of crime, I think, strikes at the core of our, our community and what our community values uh, are. Um, look, we're, we're concerned about any offence committed against uh, people, uh, vulnerable people in our community, whether they be elderly or children or, or anyone who's a, a vulnerable person. Um, and certainly we, we treat this type of offence very seriously. So are you worried then he might act again? Look, I can't say if he will or won't, but certainly um, we've, be, we've been increasing patrols in that area and taking steps to increase our activities in that area. Any, um, any links with any other um, attacks that you're looking at? Or? Certainly looking at, uh, at uh, links to other offences in the general area. Um, it's too early to say if we can link this offence to any other, uh, definitively to any other offence. What sort of offences? Breaking into this? Could be any offence. <laughs> There's nothing specific that you're looking at, or no, there's no similar attacks that in recent times. No, there isn't. No. If this person is, is found, what's the maximum penalty that they'll face? Uh, the offence, uh, the the legal offence uh, for this type of matter is called an ind indecent assault, um, and, and in prison, imprisonment varies depending on the circumstances. So it's too early to say. You've got a quite a large squad of people working on the case. Yes, we've got a team of detectives from the Gold Coast and uh, we're being assisted by our colleagues from Crime Operations Command as well. And how is it that you think you gained access to the unit? I can't comment on that, sorry. What about any property missing? Was there any property missing from the Can't comment on that either. Um, that, that's certainly one of our lines of inquiry. Um, task Force Resolve's not involved in this one at all? No. Is it at all possible that the offenders knew the victim? Look, that is a possibility, but um, at this stage I'm not able to comment on that. So you obviously don't know how he, how he got away, whether he ran away or...? We don't know what uh, form of transport the offender uh, used. He could have uh, been on foot, he could have had a vehicle, he could have been on a bicycle. Um, and that's why we're appealing for anyone who saw anything that may have been untoward or... Um, it, it may not seem untoward to them, but it may be of assistance to our investigation. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, Thank you.